Needing positivity all around you Many life struggles trying to hold you down When your goal is being great to push through dark clouds And try to tear you down Why they want to tear me down? Scorpio! <laughs> What's poppin'? Did you miss me? good on you and it's already enough motherfucking uh fake love and weird ass vibes in the motherfucking world amongst this motherfucking uh chaotic ass spiritual warfare type of energy so listen i love you still all right i know you love on little old me so let's just agree to disagree that we love each other and just get past it always seems to be something in the past won't let us last Please Don't bring it up Scorpio don't bring it up Don't keep bringing up the past Okay <laughs> Hey boy, this first time on my channel I'm Mocha Also this first time on my channel Listen look out I cuss okay Make us a little make us a lot just depending on what the hell This energy with this lick read Alright but I'm a cuss alright so cussing Don't work for you please feel free to write down now Okay to go find another beautiful reader here on YouTube That can further assist you without cussing Cause the way I'm set up I'm gonna do that alright Thank you for the likes the shares the subscribes The comments the love the donations you guys The support thank you so much from the most humblest Space ever I truly appreciate you all Appreciate you guys okay appreciate you all Alright also um, this message ain't gonna resonate with every goddamn Scorpio, okay? Take what does, leave the rest, all right? If, this mother, if the motherfucking shoe was too big, your head's gonna fall. Try to put it on. Leave it. Leave the shoe for a bitch that can fit it, all right? Period, all right? You guys, um, <laughs> also, look, new subscribers, hey, hey, welcome to the family, all right? We're a little dysfunctional over here, all right? However, we don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel, okay? We do. We cuss, we share, we grow, we love, we enlighten. Positive vibes only, positive type teams, okay? This message will resonate for uh, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watches, because y'all in the building, I feel y'all, okay? As well as the North Node, or whatever it is that Scorpio may, uh, Scorpio may align in your chart that this resonates for, okay? This will be a timeless reading. We're going to call it for the month of April, but it's a timeless reading because as we do know energy uh, is definitely fluid okay um you guys i'm trying to see if i oh if you ask not follow me on instagram what the fuck is you doing at mocha underscore love underscore tarot okay i have to update the weekly readings for this week but it's been some weekly tea going on over there the whole motherfucking time okay energy got a little weird a bitch got ghosts all right and some of y'all can definitely feel me with the bit energy get a little fucking weird <laughs> bitch goes towel my nikes go on bitch i hit the motherfucking dick and out the scene i go all right so you guys without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into it all right um scorpio the number synchronicity that i got for you all uh as we progress for the month of april you guys got two 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 okay a lot of balance being restored i am here i am picking up on the uh, energy around the finances okay balance being restored within the finances i'm also picking up on things just literally falling into place okay so if things is, is really if relationships friendships any type of motherfucking ship is not going according to the motherfucking wave bitch jump off the boat bitch it's okay it's okay if things are falling away allow them to fall away allow things to be what they uh, be what they may i am hearing do not try to force anything or force your beliefs um your expectations uh onto other people during this time or allow motherfuckers to do that shit to you period okay um i also picked up on a lot of a lot of emphasis um when it comes to spiritual abundance spiritual awareness heightened spirituality animalistic instincts animal totem okay uh the number four could be significant i did y'all reading it four months bitch it's four four today okay uh a lot of a lot of newness and a lot of harvest within um your stability is what i'm hearing okay some of you guys could be moving into a new home uh congratulations my baby some of you all are having uh could, could be finding out that you are conceiving that you're pregnant honey uh congratulations mocha loves the motherfucking kids some of y'all don't seem too motherfucking happy about it because who it is all right but it, this was uh, this was uh, divinely I'm hearing divinely destined to occur okay um, I, I am picking up on something regarding uh, breaking generational 
curses. I heard generational curses, bitch, not cycles, curses, all right? When it comes to abandonment with uh, with the masculine energy and the children, okay? So for some of you all, there's a fear of this, which is why some of y'all are not speaking your truth or living within your authentic self, okay? Some of y'all may have not grown up with a father figure or there's a need to forgive a father figure. This could even be the father of your children or your father. I'm also hearing something, um, something being genetic or something uh, occurring when it comes to the last four to five generations especially when it comes to abandonment and addictions okay i am hearing sexual addictions could be prevalent because um the song i kept hearing for you guys was two actually um gotta stop getting fucked up what did i have in my cup i don't know where i woke up i keep on pressing my luck i don't know where i woke up bitch Get it together, bitch. You don't know who you went home with, who you went home, okay? So for some of you all, this could also have to do with addressing some type of addiction issue. I am hearing alcoholism, okay? I'm also hearing something regarding cocaine, all right? Some of you all, somebody have an addiction issue when they motherfucking broke, bitch. You gotta get, you can't get high. I'm also hearing somebody getting high off their own motherfucking supply, all right? Um, but I, I did pick up on the energy of, yeah, you, you can't get high if you ain't got no motherfucking money. All right. Some of you all are choosing. Uh, I'm also hearing someone questioning someone's finances or questioning like where the money went. Like some of y'all could be dealing with someone who works, um, bitch, D boy motherfucking records. They work in the fucking streets. Okay. Some of y'all are for the streets. Throw their ass back. Throw their asses back. Some of y'all get. Some of y'all is letting the motherfucking streets have their motherfucking RSVP motherfucking member. Okay, you can have the VIP, the CEO of the motherfucking streets back. I don't want it. All right. Uh, for some of you all, this could also be. Um, yeah, some of y'all dealing with someone who, who who makes fast money, and some of y'all are questioning this person like, bitch, what are you selling the money? Like, I mean, you know. So I definitely picked up on the energy of. Um, I, I I am hearing fall at your feet, fall at your feet. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a Virgo or have Virgo in your chart the signs that were significant to um to your energy when i was channeling was gemini i got cancer pisces all right uh with the water sign energy there could be i also heard i heard water on water okay so for some of you all this could also be some type of like silent I, okay i heard silent animosity okay or passive competition okay passive aggressive type of animosity and i also heard like some type of silent competition someone secretly in competition with you or comparing themselves to uh, com comparing themselves to you or what you have i feel like someone has someone <laughs> some y'all dealing with a fucking empty vessel okay this person it, it's dark all right they're full of fucking they're consumed by their own darkness i feel like this person could actually have financial abundance but it's like they they truly are like the walking embodiment of money came by fucking happiness okay for some of you all it's a meddling ass mother-in-law a meddling ass parent who need to mind their motherfucking business because someone's trying misery loves company and scorpio there's a need for you all to fucking uh Put your motherfucking rain check in on the misery party, bitch. I won't be there, okay? Me, my fucks, my... I don't care, all right? Won't be there, all right? Um, I did pick up on the energy as well. Um, I did hear uh, forgery, okay? Fraudulent, forgery, fraudulent. This could even be someone manipulating documents when it comes to the workplace. I am hearing sexual harassment, so this could have to do with the sexual harassment claim. Like someone's trying to sweep something under the rug. And this could also be some something that's, okay, so if this is in the workplace, th this could be involving like someone who has some type of like connection as far as family to like the main boss okay I, some something some something's definitely getting covered the fuck up i am also hearing something regarding some type of like uh missing wages or um I'm also hearing unemployment claim, missing wages. I'm also hearing workers' comp, okay? So this could also be you or your spouse going through this. Again, somebody, uh, yeah, some of y'all going to have to, like, go above someone's head. Or I'm also hearing um, EEOC. I'm also hearing discrimination, racial, oh, racial discrimination. Some of you all could be researching the lawsuit process or uh, the process when it comes. I'm also hearing civil suit, okay? This could also have to do with some type of like unpaid rent as well uh, with, the, with the roommate situation or like an ex situation where one person's name was on the lease, but... Um, oh, y'all, this is, this, is, this, is, this is interesting, okay? 
Some of you all are really needing to watch what it is that you're consuming this month and what it is that you're putting into your body, okay? You are what you eat. I am picking up on the energy of Sonia. Somebody is, I'm hearing something about someone's pH balance, okay? Um, this could also have to do with uh, being aware when it comes to women's health. This could also have to do with like somebody, you know, putting their juices up in there, bitch. And them juices is like... They foreign. Them juices is not agreeing with your motherfucking body chemistry. So for some of you all, you may be noticing some type of like, um, some some type of, okay. This could be you or this could, oh. Okay, for Scorpio, some of y'all, this is you. This may be, I'm hearing something regarding to Scorpio rising. Like, something that you're eating is not agreeing with your body chemistry. Some, some Somebody that you, that you, you know, you, you being grown with, you know, engaging in motherfucking extracurricular activities with, all right? They're, they're, they, they, they shit don't agree with you, okay? I'm also picking up on some type of, like, bacterial vaginosis, all right? And something having to do with, like, the under, okay, someone coming out of the closet, Oh, honey, this could be involving a married couple, okay? Um, there is somebody, something, someone, some of y'all could also be seeing something or having something confirmed in a very uh, embarrassing fucking way, okay? Or someone feels like um, somebody's tired of somebody embarrassing them, okay? I also picked up on this energy of Leo with that. I, I picked up on Leo, Aries, okay? Also, the, uh, some of y'all may be dealing with another fucking Scorpio, okay? Or Sagittarius. I am picking up on the energy of someone coming back, Apollo line. They saying they sorry, but they lying through their motherfucking teeth. Someone literally may be, may be having like, their teeth may be fucking rotten because they lie so fucking much. <laughs> lying through their fucking teeth, alright? Um, I'm also picking up on the energy as well. Um, I heard I heard emotional spending. Like some of you guys could have recently ended something. And I feel like some of you all have really big goals when it comes to what it is that you want to create. What it is that you want to invest in. What it is that you want to see grow. Or what it is that you want to see harvest. Um, but I am picking up on some of y'all bitch. You can't fucking make the money if you're spending it all. Like, you know. You know, what what the pros and cons, okay? Some of y'all may have a Libra rising or a Libra moon, okay? Um, I'm also picking up on something regarding uh, Aquarius placement, okay? I also picked up on um, intergalactic, okay, intergalactical species, children of the stars. I also heard astral stalking, okay? Someone, you could have cut access with this person within the 3D realm, but this person could be astrally stalking you, like someone could be abusing their gifts. I'm also picking up on the energy of this little petty ass, catty ass. Ooh, some of y'all, y'all friends ain't your motherfucking friends. I keep hearing beware of the air signs. Some of y'all could definitely have fucking Virgo in your chart, okay? Some of you guys, cause some of you guys could be dealing with a, a situation where you have a soul contract or some type of like past life soulmate energy. This doesn't have to be love this could come in the form of a friendship but some of you all are needing to see a situation clearly i feel like some of you all are noticing some of y'all is noticing somebody's shady ass motherfucking behavior and you don't like that all right it doesn't sit well with you however you peeping and you're not motherfucking speaking and spirit is saying it's time to close that motherfucking door i don't give a damn what the history is for some of you all you have a lot of history with this individual you could have known this person since childhood okay um i'm also picking up on something being exposed when they, i heard child trafficking bitch child chair oh shit that's the lawsuit some of you guys could be um suing the state I'm, i am picking up on something something tied to child protective services with this okay some of you guys could have a lawsuit against the state some of you all also listen to your children be cautious of your children's body language around certain individuals i am hearing a grandmother okay i am picking up on someone being very like someone being verbally oh shit somebody could be putting something in your kids food to make them like to cause some type of chaos especially if you under if you're undergoing some type of like custody battle i am picking up on if your children are staying or the 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 primary parent right now temporarily i am hearing temporarily um could be like the other parent and they live with a mother figure especially if this mother figure is an earth sign capricorn taurus or virgo someone's trying to like brainwash your fucking kids by putting something in their food this could have also been the interference that could have caused some type of rift within a family dynamic with this person and the child I am hearing coming to the forefront, things coming to the surface, okay? A lot of exposure, all right? Some of y'all definitely going to see something on social media, all right? So let's jump into it. 
So we're going to start with the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle. All right, I heard Voodoo Priestess. Some of you guys are really needing to execute a plan. Some of y'all have like divinely guided ideas. You guys are very in tune with your intuition. You're very in tune with your, okay, so this could also be somebody trying to suppress your ability to uh, receive your downloads. I am picking up on the mother. Fire sign energy. Some of you guys could also be finding out that someone could have been like, did somebody, some of y'all could have been finding out that she was confiding in the motherfucker that was paying for the spell work to slow your motherfucking ass down. Be very cautious of what you tell people, okay? I'm also picking up on this energy of divide and conquer. Like, someone could have been, okay. Some of y'all got a water sign that is obsessed with you or obsessed with winning is what I'm hearing. Scorpio. 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 Some of you all could be thinking about completely moving states. I'm, I'm picking up a job being a hindrance, but this your back is being put up against the wall with this whole job situation, ultimately because you know that you're supposed to leave a situation. Some of y'all are realizing like the severity of you not being able to let go of situations and ultimately like the cause and effect, like what you would like what these things bring into your realm, okay? I'm hearing other people problems. Like beware of not carrying the burdens or like inheriting someone else's karmic motherfucking debt. Because of your ability not to be able to see see things clearly for what they are. Some yeah, someone's very karmic to your money, Scorpio. Alright. You guys got Sherry Oat. Number 50. Alright. I am picking up on massive changes when it comes to the home. Some of you guys could be rearranging or redecorating your home. I'm also picking up on something regarding your look, okay? Your look, some of you guys could be dyeing your hair, trying different hair colors. I don't know why I'm seeing this aquamarine ass motherfucking hair, but this shit is laid, bitch. Hey, I, I see kink, uh, 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 kinky curly, okay? Kinky curly hair. I'm also seeing someone who could be a mobile... A mobile nail technician. Baby, you need to set your motherfucking website. You need to get more motherfucking... Uh, more motherfucking, like... Um structure okay with what you're doing all right i'm also picking up on something regarding like setting boundaries between your business and your family and your friends because for some of you all someone is completely abusing your gifts or the access that they have to your gifts someone only want to be your friend or be around you or associated with you because of what the fuck you can give them and some of you all are seeing this for what it is and you're taking your motherfucking power back you're taking your money back you cut motherfuckers access off all right and i feel like it's going to open up a door of massive blessings it's like these things, these people, these circumstances, these cycles cannot go forward with you. It's a domino effect, all right? Sherry O. All right, so y'all know we don't chop and screw these messages. We read them as is, honey. Number 50, Sherry O. Sherry O. Sherry O. I'm getting a lot of crown chakra activity with you all, okay? I'm also hearing deja vu. Like, some of you guys could be dreaming things in real time, prophetic dreams. Some of you all are being called to share your share your gift of prophecy or share your prophetic dreams. Be open to meeting strangers. I feel like some of you all, there's a very important encounter that's going to be happening the third week of April. And I feel like it's very significant to uh, the door that opens up next to you. I heard right place, right time, okay? So if you're being guided or you're being called somewhere, like really listen to your intuition and get tell your ass. All right. Sherry up. Wound healing. Forgiveness. Okay. Harbor resentment. Sherry up provides deep physical and emotional healing. Transmuting negative energy, it converts dis-ease to wellness. With this assistance, you recognize that your greatest trauma is also your most profound gift. Accept it with grace. Cherio re-energizes, heals, and integrates dualities, healing past life diseases carried into the present life. Deep fears and, and schisms pervade your being. You may not feel that you belong on earth. Alienation and insecurity lie beneath the deceptively calm surface. You are subtly, uh, you are subtly, you are subtly, well, sub, I, fuck it. Fuck that word. Okay, it won. You are subtly driven by other people's thoughts and programs rather than your own. Your, autom your atomic nervous system may be malfunctioning. If so, it needs recalibrating. Time to take control. You are undergoing a vibrational change, creating links to higher realities. Visions of past lives suggest ways to, to redress karma personally and collectively. 
In accepting the present moment as perfect, you create the space to heal. The frequency of this stone is extremely high. Okay, uh, good for all the chakras, good for any time, all right? And for those with the soul path of service to humanity, healing the wounds of the past, okay? So for some of you all, I read that and immediately I literally heard narcissistic abuse, okay? Some of you all could also be noticing some type of pattern when it comes to uh, the foundations of like the root cause of your issue, of your hurt. Like for some of you all, if you had a parent that was not so active or if you had a parent that like really wasn't very present or very in tune with you emotionally, you may seem you, you may seem or you may notice that you attract partners with this particular quality because it's meant for you to actually like Face your motherfucking demons, dance with them, embrace them, get to know them, acknowledge them. Because I am picking up on this process being the open, like being the passageway or the opening, like the passageway to you ultimately restoring. Um, I'm hearing inner peace, but also uh, restoring those aspects or the imp. Oh, okay. I'm hearing something regarding the imprints of the soul, soul imprints, okay? For some of you all, this could also have to do with some type of like death experience or near death experience as well, okay? Some of you all may be experiencing or having issues around insomnia because you keep dying in your sleep. I mean, technically speaking, it's all it's always said that when we sleep, you know, when we go to sleep, we die. You know what I'm saying? However, because sleep is the cousin of death, but I feel like there's something significant to the experience of death. Like some of you guys could be, I am hearing initiations, okay? So some of you all, you're being initiated within higher realms or, or giving access to um, higher knowledge, okay? I am picking up on doctrine, okay? So some of you guys could be researching or decoding various forms of different, like various forms or various doctrines, okay? But I'm also picking up on something regarding mediumship, necromancy, and attunement, like being in tune with or one with your gifts, the shadow aspects, as well as the light. Some of you guys, um, you, you serve as a vessel when it comes to uh, giving people access to their Akashic, okay? Some of y'all, this is a gift that you have but I'm also picking up on something regarding um I'm hearing maternal gifts maternal something regarding the maternal side your, your, your genetics your genetics on your maternal side there could also be some type of secret within like within your family regarding like yeah some, some of y'all may be receiving some like a massive ass secret like that you adopted or you know I, I am hearing a massive secret all right some of y'all this could be involving children this could also be occurring with your spouse. All right, so let's jump into it. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. As well as the Cross Watchers. North Node, all right. Someone is obsessed with your energy. I am also picking up on, um, I heard, know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Like, someone, some of you all... Like, someone is such a habitual liar that they even believe they own motherfucking lies. Someone wants to play the fucking victim card, and you washing your hands with the situation with this individual. I'm also picking up on some type of, like, unexpected, like, flood of emotions, okay? This could also be you recognizing or someone recognizing the significance of a connection that they have with you or that they've had with you in previous lives, all right? This could definitely be involving someone who you have children with, like, someone has had a motherfucking revelation, bitch, all right? book of revelations could be significant prophecy all right scorpio scorpio i'm hearing okay i'm hearing modeling okay so some of you guys could be uh breaking into the modeling industry or putting yourself out there i'm also hearing something about embracing embracing as well as manifesting with like sacred sensuality sacred sexuality okay some of you guys could be transmuting your sexual energy or choosing to like fast from sex okay I'm hearing a lot of womb, a lot of womb activation energy, activations within the womb. Some of you all also may notice that your actual menstrual cycle may have shifted uh, to be connected with the full moon as well. Here, children, children of the moon, the dark, the dark aspects of the moon. Okay, some of y'all. I'm also hearing missing children. All right, some of you all may have the gift of uh, teleportation. I heard teleportation. Um, I'm also hearing something regarding like telepathy. lost and found like some of you all have the ability to find what was lost okay or locate what was lost i don't feel like this is just here in the 3d i'm okay yeah multi-dimensional being all right some of you all are also energy healers i'm also hearing transmission activators generators 
soul path, soul path, master soul. Some of you all may have a life path number 22, 44, 11. All right. You guys got projections, okay? So some of you all may be dealing with an earth sign who could be trying. This, this person could be, um, I, I feel like this person's energy is like stagnant. Someone's really like standing in their own damn way. I feel like some of you all are stressing yourself, trying to find resolutions to make something work in someone else's life who's not open to change and they're comfortable with the bullshit that's going on in their life. I feel like someone's avoiding um, taking this like, Someone's avoiding avoiding doing the work within this uh, within this journey within the like the dark night of the soul. Okay, uh, big hater energy. Okay, I'm also hearing sleeping with the enemy. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a fire sign with this. Okay, there's a need for you all to really focus on your creativity. All right, some of you guys could be yes. Yeah, some of you all, I'm also hearing music. All right, some of you guys could write music. Some of you guys could also produce music, or there's a desire to, or that's actually what you're destined to do. But I feel like for some of you all, there's a lot of focus within the external realm like y'all outside realm like I feel like you, yeah, your external realm is is creating like roadblocks for you. And for some of you all, it's like you don't want to be the bad guy in the situation. But I definitely feel like this is all about transmutation, making something, like flipping something negative into a positive. But I feel like something that you can grow on, like something that you can actually create and share, which may require a level of vulnerability is what I'm hearing, Scorpio. Like tapping into that heart chakra energy, uh, especially when it comes to how you express how you express what it is that you're sharing, okay? Also, I am picking up one a big, big emphasis on sharing, okay? Sharing knowledge, sharing gifts, sharing secrets, sharing remedies. I heard nutritionists. I heard nutritionists. I heard diet. Um, dietitian i also heard something about phlebotomy some of you guys could also be wanting to go back to school as well i feel like something is blocking your creative something is blocking your creative flow or your ability to create all right i'm also hearing compromise not control all right you guys you also got first name starts with u v w d y o s t n z i Q E. I keep hearing watch this bitch with that. All right. This could also be your first name or the the, the the name of someone who you're dealing with, their first name specifically. All right. You guys got mutable sign energy, Sagittarius, Pisces, Virgo, and Gemini. Okay, so that, that they could be significant. I'm also hearing collaborations, partnerships, okay? Uh, be, be, make sure that you ask questions, a lot of questions when it comes to, because I feel like some of y'all is going to have to, like, check somebody's motherfucking intentions at the door. If you got a funny feeling about working with some motherfucking body, like, I am hearing don't go against that, all right? I'm also, I'm hearing you're the GOAT. You're the GOAT. Like, someone needs your knowledge. Someone may have, like more publicity but you have more knowledge i'm also picking up on the energy of like someone stealing from the underdog all right this is going to be revealed is what i'm hearing i also heard of something something significant when it comes to switching up how you do things switching up your flow switching up how you present yourself switching okay this could even be switching up your look some of y'all could have somebody like i said obsessively copying every motherfucking thing you do but you finna fuck the game up with with, with the switch up okay i feel like you guys are bored with doing something a bored doing something a particular way or you want to see something like you want you're wondering is something worth your time when it comes to investing in again it's not what you do it's how you do it but adapting to change some of you all this could also have to do i'm here in a computer class like becoming computer literate all right you guys got clairsentient all right so some of you guys are able to feel the intentions of other people you scorpio like you naturally do that but i feel like the the intensity around that i'm also hearing um cardinal birds cardinal cardinal sign okay so a libra capricorn cancer aries could be a significance but some type of like synchronicity and confirmations around this particular individual that you're going to be receiving i'm also hearing uh angel numbers okay so pay attention to synchronicities i'm also picking up on things coming to you in fours all right or think information coming in, in forms of four. I heard Orishas. I'm also picking up on something regarding a nonprofit organization that's surrounding children or um, some type of like, I heard men, some, so somebody's also in denial of like their mental illness or someone's family is, okay? I got fucking gorgeous, fucking handsome. Why they motherfucking hating? Because you fucking gorgeous, fucking handsome, all right? Um, I'm also picking up on, um, I heard 
uh, manipulating documents. I'm also hearing wheels and testaments. Wheels, all right? This could also have to do with someone delaying a divorce process. All right. That flew way the hell over there. Call up on your ancestors, okay? So some of you guys could be uh, researching, like, who your ancestors are or how deep. I, I, mean, I am hearing how deep your lineage runs. I'm also picking up on something having to do with cultures, all right? Being open to different cultures, trying new things, new foods. Like, a lot of you all are in this fresh energy, wanting to try something new. I just feel like there's a lot of past energy that keeps trying to, like, fucking be a goddamn... Uh. All right, school, the bill. All right, so... The damn camera had stopped. We had, you know, reached to the time limit. So we gotta wrap this thing on the fuck up because I didn't know we had, you know, hit that motherfucking 30 minutes, honey. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, you guys got unexpected money. Okay. So some of you guys could be receiving some type of unexpected inher inheritance. Oh, I hate challenges. I'm also hearing unexpected death. Okay. So I'm hearing prep and prepare. Some of you all, you may be um, spiritually warned or you may be being cautioned. Regarding something, I'm also hearing, um, I'm hearing front row seat. Okay, so some of you guys could be getting a front row seat to someone's motherfucking deceptive ass downfall, all right? You guys got, what the fuck I tell y'all, astrally stalking you. Some of you all are shamans. I'm also hearing voodoo priestess. I'm also hearing high priestess, okay? Um, I'm also hearing fasting. Some of you all are needing to fast from possibly uh, either processed foods or, again, what you put into your body is going to be significant, all right? A lot of you all are really needing to connect to Mother Gaia, elemental magic, connecting connecting with the elements. I'm also hearing some type of like holistic healing using the elements or teaching people this. I'm also hearing awareness, okay? Yeah, some of y'all have letting go of a motherfucking cheetah as well. Alright, so you guys got Scorpio Moon. Now these placements could be placements within your chart or the placements of what uh, within someone else's, okay? Or significance. You guys got Scorpio Moon. You guys got Cardinal North Node, Aries, Capricorn, Libra, Cancer, okay? At the bottom of here, you guys got, I see Pisces here. To be significant. I heard, yeah. Fake love and secret animosity. Aquarius rising. Initiated. Okay, so I am picking up on something like catalytic occurring. In order for you to awaken to your gifts, this feels like some something that could be perceived as a loss. But I am picking up on something. Some of you guys are going to understand the significance of something leaving your life by the summertime. Again, domino effect. You guys got Aquarius rising, fixed north node, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, okay? Mutable north node. Sagittarius, Pisces, Virgo, Gemini. I'm also picking up on someone searching for your birth chart or someone like trying to... Oh, this is weird. People fucking weird. I'm so sick of that dry ass fucking energy. I'm also hearing chaos magic. Like someone could have been trying to do some type of chaos magic to keep you in this space of confusion. I am hearing, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Okay. So I definitely feel like your vision is no longer distorted or something's no longer like... Something's no longer unaccessible or someone's, your energy is no longer accessible to a particular group. I am hearing group. I am hearing coven, okay? Coven. So some of you guys, this could also be you converting from some type of like religious belief or like leaving behind some type of group and you were the one with the motherfucking power. So bitches is mad, all right? You guys got Taurus, all right? Aries moon. Someone could have been trying to manipulate a situation um, because they don't want somebody else around their children, all right? You guys got Leo. I am picking up on you. Somebody needs to go. Somebody's avoiding doing some type of like closing off cycles from their past. And I feel like something just keeps resurfacing. And it's not meant for you to save somebody. Retire your motherfucking cape. Hang it up in the closet. Put it away, Scorpio. Okay. You guys got Sagittarius rising. Libra rising. Leo moon. Pisces rising. And at the bottom of the deck, Gemini Moon. Okay? Some of you all are supposed to be working on something in order to present to the collective or share with the collective. I keep hearing prophecy, mediumship. Okay? So you guys got 
Don't let your pride get in the way. Full moon of Leo. Some of you guys could be dealing with a prideful ass Leo. I feel like someone lacks accountability for their actions. And spirit is a blessing you. I am hearing um, midnight train to Georgia. So someone could be completely choosing to abandon a situation or just leave someone behind because somebody's a motherfucking burden, all right? Or someone views a situation or a particular individual as a burden, as you should, because this is somebody, yeah, I heard getting high off their own supply. Somebody got addiction issues on the low low, all right? It's a time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. So Scorpio, you guys are being called to release negativity. I am hearing initiation and shmoney bags. Focus on your motherfucking bag because I do see an influx and an increase when it comes to your finances. A lot of focus on your stability and your finances. Anything that is dis that is deterring that motherfucking focus, which is the focus, is a motherfucking distraction and it's a motherfucking blockage and it's up to you to release yourself from this particular situation okay at the bottom of the deck you guys got bring love into the situation new moon in aquarius some of y'all could also be dealing with a difficult ass aquarius who doesn't know how to express themselves emotionally and effectively i feel like this person required like this person makes you read between the lines and i feel like for some of you all you're going to have to be the initiator because there is a connection with this individual i feel like this person got daddy issues like they may love their daddy but their daddy was not really emotionally available this could be for my scorpio men and my scorpio men some of y'all find out that the water sign baby billy jean is not your little baby you is not the pappy all right this could be involved in a water sign or a fire sign this could also be the hold up that was keeping you and a fire sign from being together okay um your hard work is paying off new moon and capricorn so whatever it is that you manifested or whatever it is that you were trying to bring into fruition i am hearing something regarding the libra the libra full moon i'm also going back as far as the virgo full moon some of you guys could have been doing some type of money manifestations i am picking up on a lot of harvesting when it comes to that and with, like the seeds that were planted or the seeds that was previously manifested i am hearing again the, the the full moon energy the libra full moon all right so believe in the impossible believe in miracles like again falling into place falling at your feet falling into alignment just allow them things to flow and not try to go against the motherfucking current trying to control every damn thing scorpio and i will be well all right so this is what i have for you guys for the month of april i love you all a long time and i pray that this message finds you with love Bye, my baby.